Good morning. Welcome to the banks of the Rhine in Germany, somewhere near Karlsruhe. Uh, just to give you some idea of where we are in time, this is Monday the 3rd of June. Though you won't be seeing this video probably somewhere until middle, maybe end of June. I've just had two days off the trike. Um, it was a welcome two days off the trike but pretty much enforced due to the weather, which has continued to be wet. I've had two days of torrential rain, but as I say, I was indoors, so it didn't affect me. Well, it didn't affect me then, it's affecting me now, however. So yeah, two days of rain over the weekend has brought the river back up to full flood. And this is my route, this is the Eurovella 15. So it looks like I'm going to spend the day finding diversions that take me goodness knows where, um, but anywhere except by the riverside. Bit of a shame, but there we go. The weather just continues to be a pain. In other far more positive news, I've got my first few channel members signed up on buymeacoffee.com. I'll be recording a little message on that later in the day as a one-off video to go out but um, yeah over the uh, last few days I think three or four people have signed up at buymeacoffee.com to help me out with this little journey of mine and I'd just like to say a very very big thank you to each of them I need to clean my cleats. It's not good for this time of the morning. So after the mad rush to get to my hotel at the end of last week, I'm going to be taking it easy for the next two or three days at least. I'm going to go back down to my 40, 50 kilometres hopefully and no more than that. By the end of Friday afternoon I thought uh, I'd really done my knee, my left knee a mischief. It was quite sore. As I told you I took some painkillers for it whilst I was on the ride. I'm not sure they did too much. But it certainly feels a lot, lot better this morning. So yeah, I'm just riding along and was thinking about this rotten weather. It just seems like every day it's uh, either I'm getting soaked on the trike or I put the tent up and the tent gets soaked and I don't get any sleep because it's battering down on the canvas. Or I'm having to spend money on hotels and hostels and there's nothing I can do about it, of course, you can't change the weather. But yeah, it's certainly beyond a joke.
and even on days like today where it's now forecast to be dry like I've said you know I'm gonna end up being diverted away from the river I already have been a couple of times it's just annoying you don't know where you're gonna end up if you stay along the banks of the river it's relatively flat as soon as you come away from it who knows where you'll end up certainly does take the edge off the enjoyment so I guess it looks like we're still not quite done with the bank the dreaded bank from last week or the mistletoe there's plenty of mistletoe up there just to show you what's happening on the other side of the bank that we're riding along the uh, river is that little bright spot through the trees over there probably about 150 200 meters away and the water's right up against the back of the bank here so what would have been some nice woodland walks are all underwater Hockwasser. Am I fed up with seeing Hockwasser written everywhere? Just go down here to show you. Again. Well, we ain't going that way. I don't know like people will be going that way for quite some time. Oh, you'll have to excuse the noise of the pump going on in the background. They're trying to pump some water out of these woods. But uh, at this very nondescript and strange little place in the middle of the woods, the Eurovella 15 crosses into France. So, 70 kilometers to Strasbourg. We won't be getting there today. The path doesn't change much, which is good. Shall we go into France? I think we should, don't we? Come on then. Yay, country number three. Bonjour, monsieur. Parlez-vous français? Non, je ne comprends pas. There you go, that's the extent of my French. <laughs> onwards and upwards, as always, onwards and upwards. So at least we don't see Hockwasser signs anymore. Now we see Wout Inundi. 
Inondai. Inondai. Route Inondai. Oh, I wonder what that means. <laughs> Anyhow, I've just stopped here to check for ticks. I've just had to go through about three quarters of a mile of long grass. So poor old me and Trini have been battered by long grass and I'm going to check that I haven't got any ticks on me. I can see mosquito things. Arr. Nah, it doesn't look like there's any ticks, thank goodness. Apparently they're quite apparently they're quite abundant in Europe this year. So I did bring a little tick removal tool with me. But I've been spared that indignity so far. I don't know whether the rain brings out more ticks or less ticks. Hopefully it's less. So I was just making really good time. Back we go. So this will look good on Relive. Uh, unlike in Germany, the French don't tell you where to go if you're diverted away from the river. So I'm trying to find my own way. And commute was no use whatsoever because there was a rail line in the way and uh, I've ended up going round in a big circle because Kamut told me to go back on myself. <sighs> I've now rerouted via Kamut. I've stopped for 10 minutes and sat there and worked out a route but it's going to take me on a rather busy road I fancy. Uh, trials and tribulations. At least we get to see pretty little villages like this. Well, I finally made it back onto the Eurovella 15. Ooh. Yeah, the roads weren't too busy. Just not used to being on roads. I haven't been on roads in a long, long time. about three and a half miles from my campsite. It's been a fairly easy day to be fair, apart from the diversions. They just added a few more miles, there weren't too many ups and downs. There's a crane above me. I don't know whether the camera will pick it up.
yeah three miles to go if I knew there was another campsite just probably another 10 miles on I'd go for that but I haven't worked out any other campsites so we just got to stick with what we know and we'll stick here for today we can do a bit more tomorrow perhaps Right, I guess I'll get back with you when I get there. And I think the other side of that hedge is my campsite. Fingers crossed. After all the diversions I've had today, who knows? <laughs> Camping to Stavely. That's the only two minutes you're getting today. See you tomorrow. Ta-da.